Today we're going to be looking at the best couch from every season of The Walking Dead, starting with Season 1 all the way through to Season 11. Okay, let's go. Coming in at Season 1 is actually probably going to be a bit of a surprise for some people, and the best character of this season is Dale. Dale is seriously such an underrated character in Season 1. He's essentially the moral compass of the group, as well as looking out for everyone's best interest. He's a man that's not exactly trapped in the past, but isn't willing to move on yet, and his character arc throughout the season is accepting this new world. I love the scene where he's talking by the campfire about his broken watch, and why he keeps making sure it's on the right time. Claiming it's important to keep track of time and what day it is, even in the apocalypse, it's important to keep to what they know. This character was a tough choice to pick as I really do love Rick in this season, but I think he's a little bit better in a much later one. Dale is just a really cool character and has a lot of great moments, and he went too soon. But coming in for season 2, stop acting like you know the way ahead, like you know the rules. Yeah, that's right, it's Shane. Shane is just a fantastic television character through and through. It's always nice to have a villain you can sort of root for, and whilst you're not always on the side of Shane, you can definitely agree with some of the points he makes. The barn scene is a lot of people's favourite scene from the show, and that all started because of Shane. He has by far the best moments in this season. From him breaking into the school, to the barn scene, to his various fights with Rick, there's just so many great moments to pick from. It's great seeing this character completely lose his mind through the course of the season. He doesn't think Rick is doing a good job protecting his family, and Shane just essentially wants to take over as a father for Carl. The only real complaint I have about Shane is you can't always tell what he's saying. Targets along that fence line there. It's your rise, it gives a natural backstop. It's a good idea. Season 2 is probably my favourite season with all the tones and genres it's juggling whilst always being consistent, and Shane is just the cherry on top. He doesn't overstay his welcome either, he was a great threat to Rick, and his arc is fulfilled by the end of the season. For a season 3, I think to no one's surprise, the best character of this season is of course, the Governor. What a truly menacing villain. I don't think anyone is really rooting for the Governor, but he's definitely entertaining to watch. He's a man that tries to do the right thing by his community, but just fails because of selfish interest. He's a great contrast to Rick. In fact, all the villains who come against Rick are. Shame was a challenge to Rick as a father, and the Governor is a reflection of Rick as a leader. It's great to have villains that are similar to the hero, and the Governor is just that. You believe his motivation, and even though the stuff he's doing is horrible and evil, you can understand why the character is doing it. The Governor is just a great character that you'll love to hate. And a reason to hate him comes from what he does to the best character in Season 4, and that's the Uncle Ben of the Walking Dead universe, Herschel. Herschel is such a lovable character, and you just want him to be happy. He's a man that has a lot of guilt, and he wants to make up for all of that. He wants what's best for everyone, including the bad guys. He believes there's good in everyone, and that there's always a second option. He doesn't think anyone is too far gone, and wants everyone to live peacefully, and truly believes they all can. The talks he has with Rick about life and doing the right thing are inspirational, and when Rick finally accepts that Herschel might be onto something, after Rick bites the bullet and lets go of revenge and hate, he's immediately shown that doing the right thing is not an option in this new world. I love that smile Herschel gives when Rick gives his speech about all living peacefully. He's just so happy that someone else also sees the beauty in doing the right thing, and he took that belief to the grave. Even for a split second it seems like the governor might accept this offer, but of course that's not how things played out. Herschel was just a brilliant mentor figure, and when he died, the show changed direction completely, from trying to build a better world to just doing anything to survive. His advice to Rick is heartwarming, and he left a great impression on the show as a whole. Now it's finally time to talk about the character that made The Walking Dead so interesting to me and a lot of other people. Yes, that's right, it's Officer Friendly himself, Ricky Dicky, Doodah Grimes. Rick is a lot of people's favourite character, and in Season 5, he shines the most. This is his murder beard era, and he is completely insane for most of this season. He no longer wants to forgive people, he now wants to just kill everyone. I love it when characters do a complete 180 from how they first started, but in a natural way. Rick at this point has lost basically everything except Carl and Judith. Pretty much the only reason he keeps fighting. Even as the viewer, you begin to question his methods. Rick never sinks to the level of pure evil, but he gets pretty damn close. I think Rick is a contender to be the best character in every season he's in, but I had to put him somewhere for this video, and I think Season 5 is his best appearance. He has some of his best and most iconic moments here. 
I like that he tries to go back to normal by being a police officer in Alexandria, but realizes the old ways just won't do it anymore. He knows that Alexandria will need to change their ways if they want to survive, and he has to tell them that through violence. Andrew Lincoln is just a phenomenal actor, and Rick is one of the best television characters ever invented, and I had to put him on the list, so here he goes. Coming in for season 6 is Glenn. What else do I have to say? It's Glenn. He was essentially the heart of The Walking Dead. He was, for the most part, always happy. Him and Maggie's relationship is a really well done romance, which is hard to pull off, especially for television. They're just a happy couple, and it's devastating what happens to him, which I'll get onto soon. But for now, I think Glenn in Season 6, because this was his final season, and I do think it's a good one for him. This is the first season he actually kills another human being. Yeah, it took him six seasons to do that. He really didn't want to kill people, but because of Rick and his ideology of life now, they thought murdering people was the best option for the group to survive. Glenn and the group murder saviors in their sleep. It's a great way of justifying Glenn's death by Negan because you can understand why Negan kills him. It's not even in a biased way. Glenn didn't deserve to die at all, but you can see why Negan did it. Anyway, let's talk about Negan now. Season 7 had by far the best villain in the Walking Dead universe. Hell, he might be the best villain on television. Negan does the impossible in that you should hate him. You really should despise the guy, but you just can't. After all the things he's done and will do, you genuinely feel bad for him when you learn more about him. Season 7 gave us the full introduction to Negan. You learn so much about him and you want to keep learning more. And that introduction alone could put him on this list, but there's just so much to him. He's so well ridden and is very complicated when it gets down to him. Someone that just loves being an asshole, but underneath it all, there's genuine pain and insecurity. Remember earlier when I said that all the villains who face Rick show a side of him? Negan is the anger. Rick is very close to becoming like Negan in season 5 and 6, but Negan is put here to show Rick that that's not the right way. The episode where Carl sneaks into the sanctuary to try and kill Negan and Negan basically tells him that would be a bad idea and gives Carl life lessons is genius in making us like Negan even more. Say what you want about the later seasons, but they did at least treat most of their characters with respect. Negan gets one of the most interesting character arcs throughout the show and is one of the greatest Walking Dead characters. And this is a season where he was shown to us fully, so for that Negan is the best character in season 7. For season 8, I had to pick Carl, for a lot of reasons. But the main one is his journey to find peace. He just randomly starts helping people now because he sees that the violence between Rick and Negan isn't going anywhere. He wants the conflict to end because he's seen it all before. He knows that there's no end to it. But maybe if Rick and Negan start fighting, they could start to build a new world. Carl serves as an example of what Herschel actually wanted for the group. Someone that just wants to do the right thing, even if it negatively affects them. Carl's death is one of the saddest in the show because it happens because he did the right thing. But even in spite of that, he still sees doing the noble thing as the right choice. Before he died, he wrote letters to everyone, asking people to stop fighting. He even writes a letter to Negan, who is genuinely upset that Carl is dead. But even after all that, Rick still wants to kill Negan. Even Negan's like, maybe we should stop fighting. It's only at the end where Rick realizes that maybe there is another option. Maybe he can find peace. And that's all because of Carl. Rick stops the conflict and is willing to move on, sparing Negan. Rick completes his character arc after 8 seasons, and if you ask me, this is where The Walking Dead should have ended. With the group moving on and building a better tomorrow. But we still got a couple of seasons to get through. The best character from season 9 is Michonne. Michonne at this time is becoming a leading character especially with Rick leaving halfway through this season. I like the relationship her and Rick have, however. It's nice and it's genuinely sad seeing Rick leave Michonne. She's definitely a character that is good in every season, but again, I had to put her at least somewhere. Her becoming a leader really suits her, and it's nice that she gets a lot more to do in this season. I like that scene where Negan gives her advice on being a leader. He's basically always right, and the advice he gives actually helps Michonne. Like I said, it's hard to talk about her because like Rick, she's good in every season she's in. Now, the villains never reach the level of greatness they were with Shane, the governor, or Negan, but Alpha... Alpha is pretty good. Alpha is, in my opinion, the last great villain. You will not agree with her motivation, but she is insane, and that sometimes is all you need to be entertaining. The Whisperers are a really creepy bunch of lot anyway, and Alpha just adds to that creepiness. The way she speaks is just frightening. It's calm, but at any moment she might snap. 
I like the Whisperers anyway, you know, they're pretty cool, they're pretty much a cult, and it's something a bit different to what we've had so far. The way they blend in with walkers and control them is really interesting, and it's nice to see some zombies again after they've kind of been a background threat for the past two seasons. Alpha and her relationship with her daughter Lydia is really abusive, and it's nice seeing Lydia stand up for herself. The flashbacks we get with Alpha are really interesting and add depth to her character. Just overall, a really great character. Coming in for season 11, it's the character you've all been waiting for, Daryl Dixon. Daryl is what made the later seasons of The Walking Dead so good for a lot of people. He's a character you're always rooting for. His relationship with Carol is just so sweet and I'm so happy that they never end up together. Daryl and Carol are just really great friends and it's really nice to see. Daryl is always fun to watch and he's just a badass. Like Rick and Michonne, he's great in every season, but in this final season, he's definitely at his best as a leader and as a friend to the people. Daryl is always great fun and is a really great character. But I'm gonna cheat here and include an honorable mention, and that goes to Maggie. I love the talk she has with Negan in the final episode. Negan has definitely done a lot of good by this point and has had his redemption arc, but Maggie... Maggie is, I think, the only character that has the right to stay mad at him. He took her world from her, and the way she basically tells him that she can never forgive him but is willing to move on is bittersweet. The way she accepts that hate is not good for her and is ruining her life is just inspirational. She'd rather let go of hate so her son can have a better life than carry on hating Negan. Such a powerful moment between two characters we all care about, and I just had to talk about it. So that's it, the best character from every season of The Walking Dead. If I miss your favorite, it's just because there's so many to choose from, and some characters are just slightly better than others, in my opinion, of course. I hope you enjoyed it, I hope to do more rankings like this for other pieces of media, so yeah, feel free to like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you later.